How's it going, everyone? Jesse Slamarella here. And uh, I'm finally going to get around to that 10 slam slash brutal death metal CDs that I own in my collection. Top 10 here. Um, now, I'm going to be doing it a little differently than how I did the top 10 black metal because if you watched it, you can tell how miserably uh, I, I fucked up the count and how I went from like 5 to 8 to 7 to 6 to 8 or something like that again. And I just clearly do not know how to math. So uh, to avoid mathing today, uh, I'm just going to do um, alphabetical order and in no particular order, you know, as I'm going through this besides, you know, alphabetical. So this isn't like the best one versus the least best one that I have. It's just how it is. Uh, at the end of it, I'm also going to have five bonus CDs that you should definitely check out. And yeah, so here we go. First 10. First up on the list, Abominable Putridities, the, uh, In the End of Human Existence, great, great slam band, uh, just pretty well known in the slam community as well, like everyone knows who Abominable Putridity is, uh, they're just very just pummeling, crushing, infectious, groovy, all that good stuff. And you can't go wrong if, you know, you're into this type of music. Next, um, this isn't just pure slam. This is like slam core, slam death core mix. Uh, it leans a little more on the slam side. This is a cranius with when homicide becomes, or when mutation becomes homicidal, sorry. Uh, definitely one of my favorite, all-time favorite albums by one of my favorite bands. In Slam, that is. Uh, if you do not own this, sucks to be you. <laughs> That's all I can say about that because this is this is a gem and kind of hard to find. Uh, sorry to say, but love it. It's great. So many good songs on here. Um, Shanty Town Hooker and the Echo of Her Cracking Chest being a couple of my favorites. Amazing slam core. Next, everyone should know this. This is Begging for Incest. This is their second release. This is Orgasmic Self Mutilation. Their first one being Awaiting the Fist, which I fucking wish I had, but unfortunately, it is not easy to get hands on such a release. But this is just as good. Uh, some people might disagree with me on that, but that's okay. I mean, I actually think their first release before this was a little better, but that's me. Definitely top tier slam. Uh, amazing, amazing riffage, amazing gutturals and shit like that. Definitely, definitely deserves its spot. Not too many people know about these guys, at least I don't think they do. This is Blunt Force. Uh, Blunt Force Trauma. I don't know why I was going to say Blunt Force Castration. But it's not that. It's Blunt Force Trauma, Vengeance for Nothing. Now, when you look this up, you're going to find a lot of Max Cavalera's album. You're going to find the Blunt Force Trauma, like, hardcore band. And this is not them. This is Blunt Force Trauma from Japan. Okay, these guys are amazing. And I think they only had a demo and a split prior to this full-length release. Comes with a little J card on the inside there, promo card, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it's it's not your regular slam. The vocals in it range from gutturals to weird, like, hate breedy type of grunty things to some different, like, wild grindcore y type of vocals. Um, definitely, definitely check this out if you can somehow. Blackboard Jungle is a really good song. Vengeance for Nothing is a good song. Empty Lies and Broken Promises is a good song. Live for Nothing or Die for Something is also really good. Definitely, definitely check out Blunt Force Drama from Japan. Next is a band that is fantastic. I wish I had picked this up sooner. 
Uh, but this is Culposcopy with Ready for Gore. This is definitely uh, not safe for work and would definitely get you reported if you shared this front cover on YouTube. So I highly recommend you don't do that if you like having your account unblocked or, or unimpeded. But these guys are amazing. The, these guys have some of the coolest, grooviest riffs that I've heard. It's like not quite as slam and roll as Devour the Fetus, but it, it's it's really close. Like some of the riffage they do in here is just crazy. It's a very fun, bombastic type of slam and that's just kind of odd for this genre, but I, I love the style. If there is more slam in this band style of uh, you know death metal, I would be all over it. I mean, I'm more into black metal nowadays, but this is fantastic. I would listen to this any day. So yeah, Culposcope, Culposcopy, ready for gore. Next, there can't be a top slam, top brutal death metal list without these guys. This is Disfigurement of Flesh. This is the first issue of their Psychotonic Abnormal Dismemberment album. I like the uh, re-release cover a little better. I don't know why, just my preference. I like the artwork in it a little better. I like how everything's set up and displayed on that a little better. But I'm, I'm glad to have the first press. It's cool. I mean, I'm not really a first press hunter. I don't gotta have, you know, that achievement under my belt. As long as I have the music and a legit copy, I'm happy. But kind of cool to have the first one. First press, whatever. It's, you know, it's interesting. But this, the material that is in this, is just pure, just crunchy, evil, just chugging slam. Like... Euro slam brutality it says right there. It's it's it is brutal. It's great and you just slam after slam. So good. This figure of a flesh first album. Next is a side project of Cranium. This is dragging entrails. Landfill of the Butchered. The bass in this and how low endy this is is insane. If you've got a good stereo system with some decent subwoofers on it, you'll know what I'm talking about because this shit will just rock the floor, will rock shit, you know, off of your shelf. Stuff's gonna be flying around the room. You're gonna have to get a call an exorcist. <laughs> uh, but no, this is some heavy, heavy, heavy slams. Uh, just impaling slamage and such low end craziness. I mean, look at the slam dozer there. <laughs> Insane. Definitely check that out. Dragging entrails, landfill of the butchered. Next up, um, I'm not exactly sure where these guys are. I'm thinking Japan, but I might be wrong. This is glossectomy with impediments from dysplasia. These are some of the oddest slam vocals I've heard in a while. Uh, there's only like five legit tracks on here plus an intro, but the material get, the material, sorry, you get on this is definitely worth it. I mean, you might have to play, pay full album price for, you know, just five songs, but honestly, Give these guys a listen and you'll understand why it's worth picking up this for sure. Um, it, it's it's really cool. Uh, they call themselves Far East Brutality. So maybe they're not from Japan. I don't know if this thing says where they're from on the inside or not. Let's see here. Apparently it has guest vocals of Tosh Toshiyashu. Kuse Yanagi. I know that means nothing to you, but it's from Vomit Revenants and Wound Deep. So the dude from that. Uh, no, 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 not here. <laughs> nope, doesn't say anywhere in this where they're from. Apologies, but Far East. So maybe Japan? I don't know. I think that's wrong. Might be the Philippines. Fuck the Philippines. They can fill up my ass. <laughs> um, 
Um, but yeah, amazing stuff. Glossectomy, impediment, impediments from dysplasia. Next up is Geomagot, or Gomagot. However you want to pronounce this son of a bitch. Must listen to this. Great album. Eradication of Insignificant Beings. Has that crazy ass, like, Leviathan maggot creature on the front there, eating people's brains for some reason. Um, it's amazing slams. Uh, but there's also, like, there's highs and low vocals in here. Like, there's high, high guttural screamy things in here. There's low gutturals. There's, like, crazy slams with higher pitched riffs it's very it stands out amongst the crowd and that's why i like it so much i don't know if i'm gonna like the new album or not because some of the vocals they do in there are kind of eh for me but the stuff they do on this album fantastic definitely worth listening to and definitely not your average run-of-the-mill slam it uh it sticks out for sure and glad i have it in my collection so yeah Gomagot, Eradication of Insignificant Beings. Just gonna shake it around a little bit more. Uh, but yeah. And the last in the top 10 is Gut Rectomy, their Slamageddon EP. Very in the vein of Acranius and the next artist I'm gonna show. These guys have some very groovy, infectious riffs again. Just very memorable, very head bangable, easy to get into. Some of the samples in it are kind of hilarious. I would actually love to get a shirt that has that on it. I know they have one, but I don't know if they still have any. Uh, I've got so much other shit to get before that, so. That's all right. I do already have a gut wrecked me sure. It's the red one with the black logo across it. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't picked this up yet, pick it up. Order it from them. I'm sure they've got copies still. Uh, you know, it is a five song EP with an intro, but the material in here is definitely worth it. Up next is the five bonus CDs that I included in this video. Now, like I was saying, this is Guttural Slug, Megalodon, Cranius, Gut Wrecked Me, and Guttural Slug, for some reason, kind of are in the same area of goodness for me and kind of groovy, almost slam core kind of sound. This is just amazing stuff. If you do not own Megalodon and you like slam, I don't know what the fuck you're listening to, but you need to get on this. Just look at that logo for Christ's sake. That's awesome. And then that giant fucking shark thing. Kind of reminds me of the show Street Sharks from back in the day. It's fucking awesome. And hey, could you imagine if there was like a you know Jurassic sized fucking shark in the ocean still? Like this doesn't give it the scale of what a megalodon shark would look like. Like that's like comparing a, a a velociraptor to a t-rex in size like a, a megalodon compared to a great white shark is, is is so different like holy shit that would be scary as fuck but uh besides that randomness definitely check out megalodon by guttural slug some of the craziest fucking shit i've ever heard eyes of the cyclops is the best song so if you're going to listen to anything listen to eyes of the cyclops uh, they also do a cover of Eyes of Abomination by Melodorous on here. So, check that shit out. That is the first of these five bonus ones. Next up is, for sort of the same reason I like Gomagot, um, Internal Devourer, Aborted and Slaughtered is definitely another one to check out. It stands out amongst the rest of the kind of slam bands that are just overly just Chug, 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 and just repetitive kind of stuff. This has like highs, lows, same with the riffs, high and low type riffs, uh, slow, fast paced, medium paced. Uh, I think there's a few clips in here, like samples and stuff like that, that sound kind of funny or, or pretty crazy, brutal and stuff. Um, like 
There's a pregnant chick getting eviscerated on the front cover. Once again, not safe for work, not uh, safe for Facebook. So I wouldn't post this around if you want your account to stay active. <laughs> Censor it up with some like stars or something for the boobies. People like to report shit on Facebook because they're dicks. But, uh, yeah, definitely check out Internal Devour. Great shit. Um, check out CD and Records. They might have copies still. I could be wrong. I know that's actually getting harder and harder to find copies of. So there's that. Next, these guys have some of the craziest bass drops I've heard in Slam. And the sci-fi space slam type of thing is amazing. This is maximized bestiality, extraterrestrial, scoloexomorphic infestation. Try saying that five times fast. No thanks. Uh, but pff, such a good album. So glad I have it. If I have a day where I'm just into like crazy fucking heavy slams with bass drops and shit. And this is what I throw on the Xbox 360 and just play. And it uh, satisfies my uh, urge for slams very well. Massive guttural monstrosity. That's what it says right in there. And it, and it is, my friends. It is definitely worth checking out if you have not checked it out before. They tour with the Cranius and Cranium and, and um, I don't know, whoever tours in Europe. Next up, pretty sure these guys are from the States, though. This is Stages of Decomposition. I've talked about these guys before, how I thought the name was dumb because it just seems so bland and generic. And they're like, huh, we should, we should have a, a stage of decomposition in our band name. And then one of the guys is like, why don't we just call it Stages of Decomposition? <laughs> like, it seems like that kind of mentality went into naming this band, but maybe it didn't. Uh, but besides that kind of, just kind of shallow bias aside, the slams... And the riffage in this shit is amazing. Like, once you get beyond that, it's... Once you actually listen to the music and give it a shot, worth it. Totally worth it and deserves the spot that it has here in the uh, the honorable mentions bonus CDs that I got here. Uh, I can't really think of an, an individual song to really, you know, put on last year uh in a good way but maybe the butcher of plainsfield piles of rotting flesh or chainsaw this emboweled cadaver i don't know either way it's cool kind of reminds me of the texas chainsaw massacre and who doesn't love that <laughs> but yes stages of decomposition piles of rotting flesh amazing shit and the last one on this list uh, I know some of you are like, oh, why isn't Cranium on there? Well, because in my opinion, all those are better. Sorry, Matts. Sorry, Thunderood brothers. But that shit is so much better. Like, Dragging Entrails, so much better. Same with uh, Fermented Masturbation. Dragging Entrails has just got it way above that. Um, Waking the Cadaver. This is the last one. This is their first album with perverse recollections of a necromancer. Uh, once again, I have a couple shirts by these guys. Got the shirts from when they played at V-Gates Amigos in Newcastle, Ontario, in Canada. Was stoked to see them. Got to talk to Don for a bit. Got to talk to the other guitarist for a bit. Pretty cool guys. A uh, little intimidating, but they're, they're pretty cool guys. Um, and the music, just, this is one of the first exposures to slam I ever had. Um, and the, the, the just downtuned crazy riffage that was going on with just those like <laughs> vocals. And I'm just like, shit, that's monstrous and fucked up. So yeah, this started me on my way to Das Brutal Shit. So this had to be in here just because of that. Um, some nostalgia, some crazy slam, guttural brutalness, and they're they're kind of classic. They're they're pretty much like um, what do you call that starter pack slam? But 
this album is so good. It's one of the innovators of the genre, I think. Probably disagree with me. That's fine. Let me know in the comment section, but fantastic. Fantastic shit. All right, we're hitting that 20-minute mark again, and basically means I've talked on and rambled on for way too long. So you're probably getting bored, and you probably want to go watch something a little bit more entertaining. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Stay sick. Until next time, Slamarella out.